hello guys hope you all are doing good so in this video i am going to cover all those questions like in past uh, one year i have given more than 10 to 15 interviews so i have jotted down all these questions which i felt like kind of repetitive and were asked in like every third interview and uh, so i hope this is going to help you if you are like uh, preparing or appearing for any interview so let's start so the obvious first question is uh, describe yourself and your current roles and responsibilities so in this question you have to prepare beforehand and like uh, try to get in front of mirror and answer this question and uh, like what i felt is that uh, by asking this question interviewer want to ask like uh, he wants to check your fluency and your communication skills and he want to get like uh, get you comfortable with the interview so in this like you have to prepare beforehand you don't have to cram actually but like uh, speak the way uh, like natural naturally it shouldn't be felt like like you have um, like memorized it so and like this question is like everyone is going to ask it so you can prepare it and uh, just practice it that's what i want to say and uh, you should not fumble while answering this question after that uh, like if you are like i am assuming that uh, you are appearing for selenium with java so selenium with java that's like uh, what i have pre assume you are uh, going for the interview for this and after that uh, like uh, the order can change but uh, i'm sure the interview want to check your uh, like java knowledge so with that like uh, you should be well versed with the oops concept like the four pillars of oops and uh, you like uh, not just you have to give the definitions but you have to explain it you have to yourself understand like what is encapsulation means and uh, sometimes let's say you said encapsulation okay so the interviewer is going to ask like uh, explain it to me in a layman term what do you actually mean by it so try to relate uh, with with uh, that like what you have actually worked on so like an example which uh, you can give is that uh, you make your uh, private uh, locators and uh, use it in public uh, methods like in your framework so like try to relate it uh, with that work which you have done so you should be well versed uh, with all the four pillars and uh, with this um, like your constructors are also covered in this so i mean prepare well this and i i will make a video like a 30 minutes video and uh, uh, you can uh, check out that uh, i think the link is uh, going to be like i will attach with this video after that uh, what i have seen is that like every third interviewer is going to ask uh, like uh, write down a program in string or array like basic string manipulation and uh, so you have to practice at least 10 to 20 um, like programs in which let's say like reverse a string it's very simple uh, but like you have to practice uh, beforehand so that like uh, you don't have to make efforts in while giving the interview so practice basic uh, like string and array programs again like this very famous uh, interview question why strings are immutable so like when the interviewer is going to ask uh, you such question so like these are uh, like cherry uh, what do you call it bonus bonus points question and uh, if you are appearing for an automation interview so you are expected like uh, if you are between 3 to 7 years of experience so you are expected to know all these kind of question and uh, just uh, like try to cover this question in 3 uh, to 4 points not just like security purpose and uh, if possible like uh, try to make a diagram and explain it like uh, we have the memory and uh, it is uh, going to call so why why we cannot call it through different um, variable so try to explain it that way and uh, this objects and classes again like uh, till Two to three years back, I was not like able to understand this. I mean, this is very simple, uh, and uh, 
it is covered in your uh, engineering courses but still like uh, most of the guys are not aware what are objects how we are going to create it what is the actual use of it so like spend half an hour on that and try to like revise it so that you don't like uh, most of the time i have seen some questions are asked very basic questions are asked and i was not able to answer it that's why i'm suggesting you to like uh, go through them similarly like very basic question regarding the jre jdk like the difference between them so these kinds of question you should prepare well in advance now coming to collection framework so after like your basic uh, java is covered uh, some interviewers try to like cover this area also so previously i tried to avoid this topic like uh, i'm giving you very genuine uh, experience of uh, my interviewers interview so like uh, initially i tried to like avoid this collection framework because i thought like apart from arrays and string like this nothing more is needed but when i made the framework and when i worked on it so i see like uh, this collection framework is is going to make our life easier and there are certain questions uh, in which you have to use this uh, collection framework so like you don't need to like uh, if you can obviously uh, try to cover everything but uh, at least uh, you should know the like what is the need why are we going to use the collection framework and uh, try to cover the list i mean at least the array list and linked list basic operations on them and uh, again the difference between list and set and uh, set and if you have covered this set like uh, hash set linked hash set so i am sure it will be very easy for you to cover maps also like it is just key value pair and kind of similar to set so that was my approach i started with like what was the need after that like again very famous uh, questions uh, which was asked regarding framework is that like uh, explain the oops concept uh, which you have used in your framework so obviously you are going to use abstraction encapsulation and uh, all that so like you have to explain where you have used abstraction and where you have used polymorphism so and like this is very simple but uh, what i have faced is that like when the interviewers uh, asked me so i went blank sometimes and i couldn't recollect it so that was the lack of practice and uh, lack of uh, revision also so don't make this mistake and uh, try to like cover this like uh, what all oops concept you are using in your framework similarly what a collection uh, framework you are currently using let's say you have a list or key value pairs so you can say that uh, i'm using uh, using hash map for the same reason and uh, don't say it like uh, we will make a framework in that like i'll explain the same thing to you so that it will be very easy for you to explain it at the time of interview and uh, again very famous uh, interview question regarding the test ng annotations and uh, like like anyone can explain it uh, like uh, the order of test ng annotations but what is expected out of use like like uh, the data providers if you are reading excel so how uh, you are going to use your test ng annotations in that and the priority uh, if you have like three test cases and uh, you want to run the third one first so you have to make it such a way so that was that was my intent these are the like uh, questions which i faced in every second or third interview and many of them were repetitively uh, repetitively asked in interviews one more thing like these are the bonus points which i'm covering and uh, which i feel you should be uh, you should be aware of is that like uh, although i'm not in support of uh, like like cramming the code but uh, like in every fourth interview i was asked to write down the code for taking screenshot and how i am going to read my excel file so like um, most of the time i try to avoid it and simply explain it in words like uh, we have like this class and import it all that but uh, interview simply asked me like um, talk is cheap show me the code <laughs> so that is it and after that like i have remembered it and if you if you can like uh, 
what i mean to say by remembering or cramming is that like uh, at the time of interview most of the time you are going to miss a certain part or certain library that is okay but still like you should be in a position to at least like write down the basic skeleton of this so i think i'm going to cover this uh, in a video and i'm i'll post down the same in the description box and again this very famous interview question regarding uh, web driver driver equal to new chrome driver what do you exactly what like you mean exactly by this line so like you can simply explain it like this is the object and this is like the driver is the object reference and uh, like this is the web driver we have the interface and uh, like you can explain it through diagram also how chrome driver and web driver are interrelated so this was uh, these these are the questions uh, which i feel which i felt is that like if you are appearing in any interview so you should at least know this stuff and uh, comment down below if you want me to cover any other topic or any suggestions and uh, i'll be very happy to help you thank you guys for watching my video